sun will set soon, but I think we can all agree we're going to miss it. It was so nice today. So nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, this time of year when it can be both rainy and gloomy. Yes. It's nice to see the sunshine. And especially yeah. on a day like today where I, I like to call it severe clear. We oh. didn't see a cloud hardly the entire day. Bring it on. But we've got some changes coming. Some good. Okay. Some not so good. You can see the map behind me. This high pressure system is what's kept us nice and clear of the clouds today. But we've got some rain showers that are going to push our way. But so too with it will warmer air. Back behind that warm front off in the southwest near Dallas in the Oklahoma, Texas panhandle. This is warm air. This is all going to shift our way over the next couple of days in a pattern change that we're seeing. But these rain showers are going to push in along with it. So that's part of the change. We're seeing rain move back in. Here's what future track shows as we get into the first half of the weekend. You're waking up tomorrow morning, mostly clear. Note that time, 7 a.m. You're heading out the door, heading to work. Probably grab the sunglasses before you head out. But by the time 3 o'clock rolls around, we're starting to see rain showers push in to the western part of 21 country, Wabash, down into Grant County. And then it overspreads the area for the most part by the time 5 p.m. rolls around. So the evening commute tomorrow could be a little bit soggy. Some weather models push this rain starting as early as 4 p.m. here in Fort Wayne, but as late as 6 p.m. So tomorrow evening could be a bit of a soggy one. This first round of rain wraps up by about 8 or 9 o'clock. And then we see a few sprinkles overnight and then more rain showers are going to push in during the early morning hours on Saturday. And yes, even a few thunderstorms are possible. Then this wave pushes out, leaving us with a mostly dry and partly sunny Saturday afternoon before later on Saturday night, more rain showers and possibly some thunderstorms start to push in. So we've got several waves coming, but just know no one day is going to be a washout. We'll certainly see some dry times to enjoy the nicer weather, or at least the warmer temperatures that are going to come. But tomorrow's rain very well could impact the 10 caps game. First pitch is at 705. We could be dealing with some rain showers by that time. Same case for the seventh inning stretch. So pay attention to social media for the 10 caps because they could very well decide, hey, we might have to delay that game. But the good news is if they play the game, that rain will have wrapped up by the time the final out rolls around. But if you're heading to the zoo this weekend, opening day on Saturday, Saturday afternoon looks pretty good. Mostly cloudy temperatures in the low to mid 70s. But winds are going to be gusting upwards of 35 miles per hour on your Saturday. This is part of that pattern change as well. We'll see windy winds gusting upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour on Sunday. And then Monday, winds continue to gust upwards of 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour. Now here's future track as we get into next week. A wave pushed through by about lunchtime on Monday afternoon, and we'll see scattered rain showers from then on until about Tuesday morning. We don't expect to pick up a whole lot of rain over the next five days, maybe about half an inch. It's off to the west that we're tracking the heaviest of the rain west of the Mississippi River, talking about three, maybe even four inches of rain in this area extending from Iowa and then into western Illinois down into Kansas. That's the area where severe weather is most likely. For us, just some thunderstorms possible with these rounds of rain that, that are moving through. But look at this. We're hanging on to the warmer temperatures. 73 for next Monday, 73 for Tuesday, 71 on Wednesday, and 69 on Thursday. And it does look like the warmer pattern is going to hang around into the first full week of March. And I don't want to take my frost graphics out of the show quite yet. <laughs> But we are talking about tomorrow morning being potentially one of the last frosty mornings of the season. Okay, everybody say it with me, okay? I just, fingers After crossed. After tomorrow, no more frost. No, no more, more frost. frost. Okay, <laughs> we got it going. Thank you, Caleb.